Hello guys and girls, in this tutorial we will speed up a Bitcoin full node running on a hard disk drive. So I do have an SSD here and two other hard disk drives on my computer. The actual Bitcoin wallet does run on my SSD, but uh, all the data, so all the blockchain data is still on one of the hard drives, which makes the program run pretty slow. So let's try to open our Bitcoin wallet and take a look at just how much time it takes for the wallet to actually open. Alright, so we needed more than one minute of time for the wallet to actually open and as we can see right now, the wallet is currently processing, discs, uh, processing blocks on my disk and that's because I performed a re-index because I was messing around with blockchain files and something went wrong and now I'm stuck here. Now as you can see my hard disk drive D is used 100% of the time and it's pretty slow as well. Meanwhile, my CPU, which is an i5, has no problems whatsoever processing any of this data. Um, so, this will take us ages. You can see that the progress increase per hour amounts to 0.18%, and this is in year 216, and it's gonna get slower in year 218 and 219, most probably. So we're gonna close our Bitcoin Core wallet right now, wait for the Bitcoin Core to shut down, don't do anything with your files before the, the wallet shuts down, and we're gonna move a couple of these folders on my solid state drive, because it's faster. Now I understand that... Um, the reason we're using hard disk drive is because of the space and uh, we don't necessarily have 200 gigabytes of free space on our solid disk drives. So what we can do is we can copy just the chain state and the indexes folder which aren't that big at all. So uh, both together they're about, okay let's say they're 4 gigabytes in size, meanwhile the box folder should be about 200 gigabytes. So what we're gonna do right now is first, well first you have to copy these two folders, don't move them, copy them to some location on your solid state drive and I've already done that, right? So they're here. Once you copy them, just rename them instead of deleting them in case anything goes wrong. I just do change state old and indexes old. And now we have to tell our computer to look for the folders named change state and indexes on our C drive instead of our D drive. So we have to make a symbolic link. You type into your um, command prompt make link mk link slash g for junction j i'm sorry and then type in your um bitcoin folder which in my case is d slash bitcoin and then slash indexes because this is the folder we want to link to uh, and we want to link it to the folder c bitcoin indexes which is right here and then we're gonna do the same thing for the chain state center, junction created, and now we're gonna do the same thing for chain state. And you can see right here that there's been a, like a shortcut folder created. And we're gonna create the chain state folder as well. Alright, so we've got now chain state and indexes folder in our Bitcoin folder on our hard disk drive, but this actually points to our C drive, all right? It's actually right here. And we're gonna try to open the Bitcoin right now and see what happens with our D drive and see how fast the loading times are. All right, so this took like 30 seconds or something. 
it should be faster. Um, if I just close it and open it again, it should be much faster actually. And we're gonna do this right now. Just to see. Alright. Okay, so this took way less than 15 seconds, so it was really, really fast. And we can see here that our D drive is, uh, well, it's, it's doing okay. C drive currently is being used quite a lot, somewhere around 90% or something like that. But it will fall down eventually. And we can see that the, our progress increase per hour is now at 6% instead of 0.2% and you can see that the blocks are being processed much much faster and once you've confirmed that everything works you can uh, freely delete your chain state old and indexes old folders they were just moved to the recycle bin and you can empty the recycle bin as well all right, so now we're running uh, our chain state and indexes folder on our solid state drive, uh, which takes up just about four gigabytes of our space, which is not a lot, it's doable. And our blocks uh, folder is still on our hard disk drive, which is uh, quite big, 200 gigabytes for Bitcoin. And we can see that the C drive usage has dropped down to about 20%. Uh, Disk D usage uh, is also somewhere around 20%, but we can see that uh, our CPU is actually doing some work now because it has to process those blocks much faster now. But my i5-7500 um, can still manage to do it all. Another thing that you can do before any of this is uh, you can format your hard disk drive and set the allocation unit size to the biggest unit size that you can. This is gonna take a little more of your space, but uh, when you're using 200 gigabytes of space, you're not gonna notice an additional 100 megabytes being used. So, for maximum speed, I suggest uh, selecting the highest allocation size, click uh, quick format and then format the disk and after you format the disk uh, you can be sure that these blocks these big files right here are being read as fast as possible on your old hard disk drive all right that's it guys hope you enjoyed it hope it will help you and see you guys next time